Hello viewers, uh, I come once more with um, another episode on uh, God's will and uh, today what I'm looking at uh, is basically when God's will is contested. My name is Olin Zimfune from Rivers of Joy and uh, those of you who have been with us uh, over the last four episodes, it's been a, an amazing journey and I, I hope that uh, uh, we, we close this again with a, a very uh, amazing uh, episode that will uh, impact your life positively forever. Now, um, what I want to do is to go back to uh, the scripture that we used in our first uh, episode when we were looking at the concept of God's will. And that is the episode, uh, the, the passage in Luke uh, chapter 22 uh, and verse 2, where Jesus Christ is saying, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass, but not your will, but not my will, but your will should be done. Uh, and I want us to go back to that particular uh, passage of scripture. And, and, and it is that passage that I want you to see something very, very uh, interesting. At a time when Jesus Christ is in the garden uh, of Gethsemane and he's facing that particular moment uh, and he knows that this is a moment when I'm just about uh, to die. It's a very uh, difficult uh, situation. And you can understand when he says, Father, if it is possible, let this cup uh, you know, pass. If it's possible, take it away. But, but at the same time, he comes and says, you know, yet not my will, but your will uh, should actually be done. Now, what you are actually seeing in that passage of scripture is that at that time, the life of Jesus Christ is being contested. His very purpose uh, you know, of existence is very purpose why he came uh, to this planet is being contested. You know, God's will for his life is being contested. And I want you to understand this because there are times when we face circumstances and situations, we face trouble, we face very difficult moments. And when we face those moments, we tend to think that it's about us as individuals. For example, uh, I am Orleans, and you may think that this is about uh, Orleans. But when you actually look at what Jesus is facing at that particular moment, if God's will comes to pass, Jesus achieves what God intended him to achieve. But if Jesus' will at this hour where Jesus is saying, if it's possible, let it pass, and indeed, if that cup of suffering was going to be taken out, then you're not going to see Jesus achieve God's purpose for his life. So in actual sense, what is being contested here is not his life per se. What is being contested here is his purpose. What is being contested here is God's will for his life. What is being contested here is God's agenda for humanity. And you have to understand that indeed when it comes to achieving the purposes of God for our lives, you will see that there are three actors that are very important uh, as believers, as Christians. One is God, God himself who has, you know, this grand plan and purposes for our lives. And then there are ourselves who are carrying God's purposes and God's will. But then there is the third element who is the enemy. And uh, if you, you know the devil himself and and his demons, the, what you have to understand is that when there's a pronouncement in our lives, or when there's a promise, and it's held out there in the demonic world, there's a mobilization. In other words, the 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 enemy mobilizes to contest those promises, to contest you know God's purposes for our lives. So sometimes we face certain situations, we face certain circumstances, not because of our humanity, but because of the purposes that we are carrying for God. Because of God's will for our lives. So there are times when God's will gets to be contested uh, in our lives. And when you read through scripture, you actually see these particular pro pronouncements. Even right from the beginning when it was heard that there's a king that 
of, that is born that is going to be a king of, of, of kings, you see a, a herald as a type of the devil, of the devil mobilizing and, and killing all boys because they didn't want God's purpose to come to pass. This has happened time at the time David was proclaimed king, anointed king. That was the beginning of trouble. And then his, his purposes, uh, David, his purposes to become king becomes contested. And you see him running around in the wilderness until to the time when God brings, you know, his purposes come to pass. So sometimes the enemy will contest God's will for our lives. Now, the things that I want you to understand are very simple. One, that you as an individual are not the contested actor. It's God's purposes that are being contested in your life. So when you are facing whatever it is that you are facing, you must always remember this, that it's not about you, but it's about the purposes of God. It's about the promises of God. When you understand this, it puts you in a better position to counter the schemes of the enemy because circumstances have a way of, of, of clouding your vision. They, they have a way of putting you in a space where you become hopeless. They have a way of putting you in a space where you become desperate. They have a way of putting you in a space where you begin to try to cut shortcuts because you don't understand how what you are passing through fits in in the scheme of God in God's plan and therefore you begin to cut shortcuts. Let me give a typical example of what we do as Africans when we are facing trouble. We try to consult mediums. We try to consult witch doctors because we have a crisis and we don't understand that actually what is being contested is God's purpose for our lives. And, and sometimes people are broke and they try to you know, create shortcuts by creating deals. Uh, some people, you know, they try to create shortcuts maybe by going into prostitution. You do not have to go to that route. All that you need to understand is that what is being contested is not you yourself, but God's purposes for your life. So you just need to be in that position where you can counter the schemes of the enemy because the enemy has two intentions to short circuit the purposes of God, you know, uh, for uh, your life and also just to cloud your vision so that you don't see where God is taking you. And, and, and all that I'm saying in today's episode is beware of this scheme of the enemy and place yourself in a position where you can understand this and hold on to God's purposes, focus on God's purposes, endure whatever it is that uh, you, know, you, you, you are passing through because you are indeed going to the promised land because God's purposes are clear, they are perfect, they are to bring you an expected end. May God richly bless you. See you uh, later. Amen.